I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Not a travel vlog. We're home now. It's rainy, dismal weather and we're back to our regular routine. So today we're gonna clean, super clean all the drinkers and sheep minerals and salts and stuff because we've been away for a while and we want to get everything back to snuff. So we're gonna go check out the barns and see how everyone made out while we were away. Dogs and cats all seem to have fared well because Aiden was with them every day. So they are good. And Corey was just here this morning just to check that things went okay with us. And he said he didn't have too many problems. He had the escapee you hopped into the wrong pen. She went from gladiator's pen to knockouts, but that's typical of her. And while we were away, I see my zucchinis are turning like pumpkin type colors. And I didn't even knew it, know a z zucchini would do that. Kind of interesting. And that's my massive one. I guess I'll use them as decoration by my moose. Hi, Tommy. How you doing? Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Tommy. Hi. <laughs> you were paying attention back there and didn't even see me. Or are you just getting old? He's okay. Haven't seen Buddy yet today, but Aiden said he was in and out all the time of the house. Scotty, looks like you need some food. There's Scotty. I'll go get him his food. It looks empty. Come on, Scotty. It's okay. Tommy's not here. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. Come on in. There you go. Here. There you go. Rams look all okay here. Looks like they need another bale of hay. Everybody seems fine though. Here's Cracker and Lamborghini. They look like the uh, same as they did when we left. No problems here. And they're going to be leaving in a few days now. Oh, you're so nice though. You are. You look nice. Okay, first things first, we're going to do the Dorset breeding groups. They've just gotten fed. Gonna make sure that their drinkers are really clean right now. Looks like uh, Corey might have had a little owie with the skid steer and the gate here. We got quite the little bend on it. <laughs> All right, he's gotta gonna have to try hammer that one out. Hi, girls. Everyone looks good in here. One thing about when you leave and you come back, it feels like you've never been gone. <laughs> Nothing changes. It's kind of like you had a dream and now the dream is over. We were hoping for rain here because the fields were too dry for Ernie to work them with the disc. So now that we've had some rain, he should be able to get into the fields and finish the disking off and get the manure uh, spread out on the fields as well. There's the breeding groups. How you doing? Getting 
Get in there, Barley. And uh, these guys are going to need a new bale of hay, too, because they're out. sure that everybody's up and eating and everybody is Hannibal's in there eating and I'm looking between his legs and it looks like he's got he's got pressure on both his front legs so maybe his legs better now it's not holding it up anyway my little buddy Casanova came up and said hello. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Were you lonely? Were you? And the kittens this morning. You gotta move these girls back because Arnie's gonna get the center core. Come on, you guys. Come on. Let's go back a little bit for a second. Not for long. Come on. up all week so we're gonna let them go out again these are the ram lambs the rain stopped so they'll like to have a little romp I think hey guys we're gonna open the gate for ya I'll play that one again I guess this guy was super happy to be going outside again quite the leap he had times so they can go whichever way they want we're gonna open it to both fields now move Ben Well, we had heat, but we didn't have too much rain, but now we had rain. Ben, Ben, get out of there. Yeah. He's, the he's the RR one. Yeah. He's just not the biggest guy, but he's actually built quite well. Yeah, but they haven't been out all week, so they like it. Well, now it's starting to rain. <laughs> oh, that should wash him off a little. Yeah. Hey, we're in with the Rowdy Crew. These guys have been going out the whole time we were away, so it would be more watching for parasites, making sure these guys are all okay. But again, everybody's going up to the trough, so that's the first uh, test of health passed. 
And when we left, there are a few dirty bums in here. But I'll check to see if it's gotten worse. We just switched pastures when we left, so they should be okay. No, no, don't even think about it. Sure. Too keen on going out. Okay. Not too keen on going out. Ferdinand wants some attention. Hi, Ferdy. I think their pasture is not very interesting anymore, so I was just making friends with a cat. Well, Scotty went out to join him. Well, now there's seed there that they can get at. We got we got our pumpkins here by Mr. Moose. That's just the start of our Halloween decorations. And our giant zucchini. Some nice colors here. Okay, we just got to the milk house and saw that we had another box awaiting us from Mary Wilson. She's always thinking of things to make our lives easier. And uh, I guess her husband went to the thrift shop and managed to pick up a whole bunch of lambing towels for us which is awesome because you can never have too many of those. 
So we really appreciate that again. We're going to have to have Mary and her husband over here for a drink. Maybe when she says she's going to, they're still looking for Ernie's John Deere tractor. <laughs> but she said, be careful when we pull out the towels because there's a small box. So now Ernie's searching for a small box. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, you found it. Finally. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mary. Oh, it's not a John Deere tractor. Yeah. Oh, well, it could be. Yeah, our towels are, are starting to get worn out, so we definitely need them. And yeah, these are at the thrift store. People just um, throw them away, I guess. But Be careful with it, she said. Whoa! What is it? <laughs> what is it? <gasps> what is it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a little, um, little bead. It's a bead. That's nice for you to fix. Oh my God, he's the cutest thing ever. Like Look at, he's a bead. It's Suffolk too, of all things. <laughs> oh my God, he is a Suffolk. And he's made out of like, Glass or pottery? Yeah, probably, says on, probably says on here. Oh, now I gotta go find a chain right away. Yes. Immediately. This will be my little wear forever one. Isn't he cute? And he's so small. Yes. Thank you, Mary. I don't even know where you would find that. Actually, um, the card that goes with it. It's Nancy uh, Sinclair who makes them out of Italian glass on a torch in our studio. Wow. That's even, like, how do you make something that small with a glass blower? <laughs> Better wear gloves. Not like you do. And what do you do with nice friends like that, huh? Cherish them, because they're far and few between. Few and far between, that's how it goes. So Arnie's gotten straight back to work. Um, he needed this door brought up higher so that he could fit some more of his machinery in there and park it out of the way because our yard gets kind of plugged up with all the machinery. So all afternoon he's been uh, making that opening bigger and now he's gonna have to that's the original door it was this size and there's the door so he's just gonna have to add something onto it so that it will still close and you can see the sky is black 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 out there but where he's working right now the light is just shining on him so busy right away and it's been dark and dismal all day. And you can see those clouds. But look at that. The evening sun is shining on there. And it's actually quite beautiful with the black, black storm clouds behind the barn. I'm just making dinner and I've been catching up with uh, all the cleaning and stuff around the house. Kind of a quiet day because it, most of the day it was raining. This is the most beautiful part of the day today. So I guess we're going to call that a day. And I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.